today we will be going about the dissection of the brain and the various important sulci and gyri associated with the brain and some of the important features which you see on the brain and which are frequently asked in the exams now as far as the brain is concerned there are two cerebral hemispheres so this is the brain and you can see that there are two cerebral hemispheres which are connected together so we have got the two cerebral hemispheres the right one and the left one and as far as the brain is concerned we have got three surfaces this one is the superior lateral surface this one is the medial surface seen on the interior and then this is the base of the brain or the inferior surface so as far as the orientation of the brain is concerned this is the frontal end or the frontal pole and this is the occipital pole of the brain so that's important so frontal pole and the occipital pole now what is important on the spirulatal surface is that we have got the sulci and the gyri the sulci just divide the brain into various larger areas which are the gyri and they are there to just increase the surface area of the mammalian brain the human brain is advanced and as such they are there to increase the surface area of the brain now over here you can see there is an important uh, element over here you see this thing which is just like a polythene just deeply attached to the sulci and gyri of the brain and this is a layer which is the pia matter the pia matter goes into the sulci and gyri dips into the sulci and gyri and it is closely applied to the brain and it is very difficult to strip off the pia matter above the pia matter we have a layer which is the arachnoid and above the arachnoid we have a layer which is the dura mater but here you can see that on the spirulatal surface we have got this important thing and this is the central sulcus so this is the central sulcus and in front of the central sulcus there is a gyrus which is given the name as pre central gyrus and behind the central sulcus there is a gyrus which is given the name as post central gyrus so this is the central sulcus and over here this is one important lateral sulcus so this is the lateral sulcus of the brain and that's important so these two sulci just divide the brain into larger areas now as far as the frontal lobe is concerned this is the frontal lobe and in the frontal lobe i can show you on a better specimen over here and on the frontal lobe we have got the superior frontal sulcus and the inferior frontal sulcus and they divide the frontal lobe into three parts and this is the superior frontal gyrus this is the middle frontal gyrus and this is the inferior frontal gyrus so superior frontal gyrus the middle frontal gyrus and the inferior frontal gyrus so here this is the lateral sulcus as shown this is the central sulcus as shown the precentral gyrus and this is the postcentral gyrus now as far as the temporal lobe is concerned this is the temporal lobe this is the temporal lobe and in the temporal lobe we have the superior temporal sulcus and the inferior temporal sulcus and this is the superior temporal gyrus this is the middle temporal gyrus and here this is the inferior temporal gyrus so superior middle and inferior now as far as this a uh, part is concerned this part is the occipital lobe of the brain and there is the parieto occipital notch over here this is the parieto occipital notch and here there is a calcarine sulcus and in between the area is an area which we give the name as precuneus and over here this is the parietal lobe of the brain and there is the interparietal sulcus and this is the superior parietal lobule and this is the inferior parietal lobule so we have got the spirulatal surface of the brain divided into a precentral gyrus the postcentral gyrus the superior frontal gyrus the middle frontal gyrus the inferior frontal gyrus the superior temporal gyrus the middle temporal gyrus the inferior temporal gyrus and here is the area which is the cuneus and this is the superior parietal lobule this is the inferior parietal lobule so this finishes the superior lateral surface of the brain now as far as the medial surface of the brain is concerned you have to remember certain important things i told you that the two cerebral hemispheres are connected and they are connected by what this is the band of the tissue which is given the name as corpus callosum and corpus callosum binds the two cerebral hemispheres with each other so as far as the corpus callosum is concerned we will deal it with separately but over here this area this is a gyrus very important gyrus here and it is the medial frontal gyrus and here this is a 
gyrus just behind the medial frontal gyrus and this is the paracentral lobule so this is the paracentral lobule and above the corpus callosum there is this gyrus which is given the name as cingulate gyrus and there is this area and this is the area which is given the name as precuneus and here this is the area a triangular sort of an area this is the cuneus and as you can see just over here this is the area of the parahippocampal gyrus. So this is the parahippocampal gyrus and in here you can see this where I insert my finger is the area of a ventricle which is a cavity within the brain and this is the cavity of the lateral ventricle. In normal specimen this cavity of the lateral ventricle will be covered by a fold which is given the name as septum pellucidum. So septum pellucidum which we will be covering and this is the cavity where the forceps is inserted is the cavity of the lateral ventricle. So on the medial surface we have the medial frontal gyrus, we have the paracentral lobule, we have the cingulate gyrus, we have the precuneus, we have the cuneus and we have the parahippocampal gyrus which are worth remembering. Now as far as the inferior surface of the brain is concerned so this is the inferior surface of the brain and you can see over here this is a very important structure this is the olfactory tract and this olfactory tract just medial to the olfactory tract is a gyrus over here and you can see over here you can appreciate over here this is an s-shaped gyrus and this is the anterior orbital gyrus this is the inferior orbital gyrus this is the lateral orbital gyrus and this is the medial orbital gyrus so we have got this s-shaped sulcus just dividing the inferior part the upper part of the inferior lobe of the brain into these four parts and this is the olfactory uh, tract which will be dividing into lateral and medial olfactory stria just below over here and this is the area of the olfactory bulb. Now as far as the inferior surface is covered which is just a bit of hidden 